Climate change has become a problem globally. The negative impacts are evident, ranging from abnormal rainfall patterns, flooding, and excessive to mention but a few. Two gases have been implicated in the concept of global warming. These gases are carbon dioxide and methane. With carbon dioxide retention in the atmosphere accounting for over 95 percent of gases causing global warming. There are a plethora of solutions that have been suggested. These solutions range from direct capturing of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, modified agro practices, as well as carbon sequestration. Yes, you just heard it carbon sequestration. One major way to sequester carbon is to convert it to its pure, relatively stable form via the process of pyrolysis. So behind me are these local pyrolysis plants that these indigenous people, these Africans, have been using to help save our planet, albeit it indirectly. Please stay with me. The end product of this metal actually leads to the production of carbon. But guess what? That is not the focus of this documentary today. But the residue of this indigenous technology is our focus today. And what is that? Voucher. Please stay with me a few minutes. Because what you are going to hear now will trigger something in you. I can assure you that. Two things I want you to take away from this discussion today. The first is this. The business opportunities and the investment opportunities associated with adding values to biochar. For those who don't know, biochar can be converted into biofertilizer by incorporating organic manure into them. This biochar and the organic manure to be incorporated into them, they are all from cheap sources. As you can see, we have them all abundant here. As at the time of this documentation, to the best of our knowledge, there is no biochar fertilizer company in this environment. These biofertilizers can be used in our homes to plant flowers, other crops, in our gardens and farms, including planting of trees, which is afforestation. Do you know what this will do for us? Let me tell you. We will end up locking carbon in the soil, thereby removing the atmospheric carbon dioxide. That is one way. Remember that these plants, they will end up taking carbon dioxide from the atmosphere to produce their food. That is another way to remove carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. I want to use this means to reach out to relevant stakeholders like the faculties and universities of agriculture, environmentalists, and other scientists. Let us embark on more researches on voucher and this potential to revolutionize agriculture in terms of improving soil fertility and boosting crop yield. So this will end up adding value to this voucher. Let me share a few of my ideas. For example, we could compare voucher and artificial fertilizers such as urea and the NPKs. Again, we can also look at a situation whereby we compare different manure used to activate voucher and see the one that is better. Thirdly, we can also say, okay, let us compare different times or durations of activation of voucher, whether two weeks, two months, or even two years, and see which is actually better. And a whole lot more ideas are out there. So this will help us get carbon permanently locked away in the soil and away from the atmosphere. So let's start helping our planet by using voucher to grow crops in our gardens at home and also in planting trees. Let me leave you with this last thought. The Amazonians are remembered by us today when the history of voucher, that is Terra Preta, is discussed. So, hundreds of years from now, what will that generation remember you for? What effort are you making to combat this problem of climate change? Elon Musk and other heroes out there are doing their best to combat this problem of climate change. So what are you waiting for? Why not join us now? Thank you so much for your time. God bless.